Hello, I'm Bo Weidema. I am going to tell you about uh, how to use the 2021 social footprint method for quantitative life cycle screening. This is a presentation uh, to the 8th International Conference on Social Life Cycle Assessment. This conference was held in Aachen on the 5th to 8th of September 2022. The 2021 social footprint method has a number of unique features. First of all, we apply sustainable well-being as a comprehensive summary indicator for all social ecosystem and economic impacts. We measure this in quality adjusted personal life years, also known as qualis, which is an expression of utility or well-being. This allows us to quantify the trade-offs and synergies between impact categories to compare business decisions, performance and improvement options across the product life cycle and across industry sectors. Secondly, we apply the exhaustive capitals approach to define the areas of protection. This means that we have ensured the comprehensiveness in terms of the set of impact categories that we cover. To enable the method to be applied for life cycle assessment, the applied indicators have been chosen to allow for aggregation and disaggregation at any level of geographical, organizational and product detail. What is maybe especially important for SMEs is that the method is open access as well as the underlying database. Cardinal scale quantitative social impact data are available now for year 2019 on this website. The data are exhaustive. They cover 163 countries, which is 99% of the world's GDP, as well as population and impacts. All the impacts are divided in 76 impact categories defined at the level of areas of protection. According to the natural assets, there are nine indicators for manufactured physical assets, six indicators, intellectual assets, two, human capabilities, 35, and social networks, 24. All the data are given in the same unit, namely quality adjusted life years. There is a very low requirement for company specific data, such as data from workplace surveys or inspections. These are only needed for 17 out of the 76 impact categories. And together these only cover 9% of the global impacts. All the other impact categories, that is covering more than 90% of all impacts, are linked to pressure indicators for which default industry data are available from national and international data sources. The 76 impact categories are color coded according to the data availability, that is how easy it is to link them to pressure indicators. There is also a data collection guideline, which tells you more about how each specific indicator should be calculated. But the most important and exciting issue is that we have confirmed that about 80% of all impacts, more precisely 78, are non-production specific. What we mean by that is that they are related to missing governance at the country level, rather than being technology or company specific. Default data for these impacts are openly available from national and international statistical sources. While it is the direct responsibility of government institutions to maintain good governance and effective and efficient provision of the necessary social services, it is the role and responsibility of the productive sector to provide the funding, either directly or through payment of taxes, or through sufficient payments to the labor force, 
so that they can pay for these services themselves. In that way, we are making this 78% of the impacts related to production, even though the responsibility and the actions that needs to be done are in principle the responsibility of government, governments. Ultimately, these impacts can therefore be linked to a limited set of economic pressure indicators, notably underpayment of labor and taxes and insufficient voluntary transfers. This implies that inequality plays a very important role for the overall results. So in the 2021 revision of the social footprint method, the country-specific levels of well-being are calculated from the Cantrell scores of the annual World Happiness Report, adjusted for lost life years. The global potential level of well-being is calculated to be 0.961 qualis per person life years. So not quite the one quality that you would say could be the theoretical maximum per person life year. The social footprint is calculated as the difference between the actual and the potential country-specific well-being. The non-production-specific parts of the social footprint are separated out and distributed over the industries in each country in proportion to their equity-weighted contribution to national income, so that industries with low wage levels receive a higher weight. New conversion factors between qualities and monetary values are also provided. The whole method and the data are available with instruction for software implementation using the Xiobase Hybrid LCA database as an example. Here is the file name that you should be looking for. Now, how to interpret these results? Due to the important role of inequality for the overall results, hotspots in the results will point to unit processes with relatively low wage levels. For the same amount of value added, that is the price of the product, the more equal the wage level over the life cycle, the lower the impact you will have. That means that if the consumers are not willing to pay more, then you can still move the parts of your life cycle that have a high wage level and try to give some of that to the part of the life cycle with the low wage and still keep the same price. But if a higher price will be accepted by the customers, this will be best spent on the parts of the life cycle with the lowest wage levels. So these very simple rules of thumb, you could say, allows you to act on your results. So while being based on a comprehensive database and a detailed cause effect model, the method can be applied as a simple screening with very low data requirements, results that are very easy to interpret, and with very clear and meaningful directions to act upon. For those who want to dig deeper into causes and effects in individual countries and industries, the database provides ample options for more detailed contribution analysis, for example, per impact category, per area of protection, per safeguard subject, per SDG topic, or per pressure category if you're interested, for example, in calculating your triple bottom line. Thank you for your kind attention.